Hello and welcome to Bites of Tech, the place where I share small bites of information to help your business and you be successful in the digital world. Thanks for swinging by. My name is Dom from DigitalDom.com and today we're going to be discussing three tips for your Mac. Let's get the party started. Random fact of the day. Did you know, did you know that if you have questions about any Apple products whatsoever, you can go to apple.com forward slash support, select whatever product you have the question about, and there's tons of very helpful information. Let's go ahead and jump right into our first tip for your Mac. The first tip is the spotlight search, which is available on OS X El Capitan. To get to it on the upper right of your screen, you'll see a little magnifying glass. Click on that and you can get to the spotlight search. In addition, there is a little secret tip. You can click on command and then spacebar. That's command and then spacebar, and then the spotlight search will pop right onto your screen. Once that happens, you're good to go. And if you're looking for a document that you lost, maybe an application or maybe some pictures that you lost, it will search your hard drive as well as search the internet, which is pretty awesome. Now let's go ahead and get right into tip number two, which is force quit. To get to it, you would just click on the Apple logo and you would go down to force quit and it'll show which applications are running. Now what you can use this tool for is if your applications get frozen or stuck, you can choose that and then force quit them. Now here's a secret code, it's option command and then escape. That's option command escape and then what will happen is your force quit op applications will come up. You can select whatever application you'd like to force quit, click on it and then close it on down. And this is very, very helpful if you have something stuck. You can also do Command and then Q, which will actually quit the app. Okay, last resort, Command, Control, Power Button will force Mac restart. So, just in case. Tip number three is the Notes app. They've really redone it. Uh, some new things that you can do is you can add a checklist by highlighting the text and clicking the checkbox. You can change the font by highlighting the font right click and then go to fonts and then you can go to uh, the your own fonts and actually change it to whatever you'd like so that's a brand new enhancement being able to kind of add your little flavor to that notes app the third thing you can do uh, that I saw was link a web address so an actual live web address you click on it you can actually go to an actual website from the website in Safari you can actually save to your notes app by clicking on the right hand side save and then going to the notes and you can select the new note or add it to an existing note now these are just some additional tips that you have for that notes app which is now robust you can add also add full pictures so you can see i'm just adding a couple pictures that i have and they're saved within that notes and in the notes you can see at the very top there's like a square with a bunch of little squares with inside which is these different secret categories photos and videos sketches make sure you have this all synced up with your iCloud that way you can see it on your iPhone and on your iPad as well which is very cool thank you for taking a bite out of tech with me if this was helpful for you go ahead and share it with your friends and your colleagues in a favor and swing by my website digitaldom.com and connect with me on social using all the links thanks again and stay blessed Thank <laughs> you.